my food up and do a car bang with you all while I'm on my lunch and discuss something. Yeah, what? The news today, so I had to break it today. When I found out, I said I got to come to y'all, tell y'all all about it. Yes, I do. All right, everybody, here's my lurch. I'm about to chow down. This is a slaw dog, and this is a sausage dog. I'm going to take some of this coleslaw and put over on this sausage dog. Yes, so I shall return. Why, why, why not? Why, why, why not? Kick. Hey. Why, why, why not? for coming in today before we get started please like this video subscribe to my channel hit that bell so you have notifications every time that i post please also share 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 with everyone so my channel can grow go over to tyra's big world of flavor do the same for her and happy 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 day but y'all today is too i'm on i'm on schedule i'm on schedule today so how y'all doing out there y'all are gonna take a ride with me as i go to one of my spots that I know y'all like a lot, and I do too. So I'm gonna go here and pick my food up and do a car bang with you all while I'm on my lunch and discuss something. Yeah, oh, what? The news today, so I had to break it today. When I found out, I said I got to come to y'all, tell y'all all about it. Yes, I do. But it's your brave lady, I'm wearing my brace, and I'm on my way to lunch. And when I get to my destination, I'm going to tell you as I crunch, crunch. <laughs> it may be some crunching, it may not be no crunching. But y'all, we got something to talk about, and we shall discuss it. And please comment down below your thoughts let's have a true discussion yes and then we'll go live tonight and talk about it some more yes we will because i know more is going to unfold by the time i get off work the people out here chirping yes uh, they talking 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 about it and i was so I was so confused. Y'all gonna have to share something and, and, and explain something to me because I thought I heard it one way last night and this morning I heard it another way. And I'm gonna tell y'all who I heard it from first and what I heard. And it's not the same as what I heard today and who I heard it from, okay? Mm. Yes. So we'll be back after I get my this thumbnail done. Y'all see, I already fixed it up. Got my hot sauce and ketchup on. Y'all, it's a little warm out here today. I was just gonna have the wellness down. But... All right, let's say our grace. Lord, we wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Help it to nourish our bodies. In these words, we ask in your son Jesus' name, we pray, amen. Keep right going. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna eat the, so the slaw dog first. Now, y'all, I know y'all probably said you would have got slaw on both of them. If they had slaw, like KFC, that's what I would have did. But they don't have KFC slaw. 
Yeah, it's a little struggle slow, but it's still good on the um on the on the side dog, on the hot dog. All right, y'all. First bite goes to y'all. Enjoy. Alright y'all, what I said I was going to talk to y'all about was, do y'all see what's going on in the, vlog, in the blogs about Portia Williams? Now, last night I watched Tasha K Live, and if I'm not mistaken, I heard Tasha K say that Dennis and Portia were back together. That a lot of people were saying oh, true. that that she was um hold up. Y'all I got my notes. Y'all know how I don't know names. So I wrote it down. I might say it wrong but I'm gonna get it out. Okay. So she was saying Simon. His name is Simon. And he is a friend to the show. They showed him briefly on Housewives of Atlanta this season. Simon, at the time, was the husband of Phelan. That's the young one that Toya was throwing shade at about her marrying the old man. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought I heard Tasha K said that all of them celebrated Mother's Day together. Dennis, Portia, and Simon. But she said, if I'm not mistaken now, she said that Dennis and Portia were back together. I know I done said that like four times. And I'm just telling y'all, that's what I thought I heard her say. So I'm like, oh, that's good. And I thought she said that they were back engaged. But, and that Simon and Dennis were close friends, entrepreneurial friends. Because they all have businesses. Okay. This morning, I heard Angela Lee, Angela Yee say on the Breakfast Club morning show this morning that Portia is engaged to Simon Gobedia. Not Derek. Okay. Now, mind you, Portia introduced Phelan to the show. They use Phelan's jet to go on a trip. Phelan met them down in Charleston because she was staying there with her husband at the time. But after reading the blogs and Portia's Instagram, she said she is not Phelan's friend. The divorce was already over. They've been dating, don't let me misquote what I read, is it the past year? I'm not sure. But my question to y'all is, what y'all think about that? Tell me what y'all think. Because if I'm not mistaken, Portia introduce her. That's her friend. Okay. Let me let me go ahead and elaborate on what I'm talking about right now. 
Portia did introduce her as her friend. But we all do have to realize this is reality TV, right? People have to do things for storylines, true. So is this real? Or are they filming next season? But how would y'all feel if someone that you thought was your friend, I'm guessing they thought failing thought, now this is my opinion now, I'm guessing failing thought that um, she was friends with Portia, invited her into the home, had a little gathering for her. Samia and and um, Toy, um, what name? Tanya. They went over there to the to the little party. You know, she had a little pool party for them at her home with her husband. That uh, Portia is engaged to now. How would you feel if you openly welcome people into your home? Now, only thing we could do is outside looking in. That's all we can do. We really don't know. The type of relationship that they've had we really don't know if it was like just for TV that they brought her on and we don't know whether or not they were truly friends we don't but that's how they played it on the show my friend that what they say now y'all want to buy this sassy doll yeah y'all take a bite I'm gonna give y'all the, the end with all the chili and stuff mm. Mm -hmm. Say this for that. This the meaty meaty. But what would y'all do? How would you feel? Let me say, me. If we friends, that would hurt. That would hurt. If I'm your friend, and I just got divorced from my husband. And then you start dating my husband. I am going to feel some type of way. I truly am. I truly am going to feel some type of way. I'm going to be hurt. Honestly. I don't know if I'm going to be civil hurt. Well, I'm going to be physically hurt with my reactions. If you understand what I mean, I'm being civil, I'm being physical. Okay? That's a lot to deal with. I think it is. But that's going to be in the news all today and tomorrow. Toya trying to be in the news. And y'all, I was reading everybody's statement. Everybody, you know, they still supporting T on Portia. But, you know, a lot of people saying they're disappointed. And rightfully, and rightfully so, she had to live her own life. She does have to live her own life. But I feel, me personally, there are certain ways to get to that without hurting other people. Yes, we don't know who we love, but sometimes you got to avoid it, in my opinion. I feel you need to avoid it, especially if it's going to end up hurting someone that you care about. I think. That's just my opinion now. That's mine. Nobody else's. I will fight that feeling because if I cherish you as a friend, I don't care how fine your man is, I'm going to try and ignore how much money he got and focus on how much I care about you and what it would do to what we have. As a fan, as a as a friendship, is our friendship close enough to where 
I consider you family. Okay? Now, if we there, then, um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm gonna fight that feeling that I may have for that man that you just let go. I'm gonna fight it hard. And if he approaching me, I think I will discuss, I would discuss it with my friend. Although, the friend may say, Carol, I'm good. I'm good. Would he still be off limits? Mmm, another question. Girl, go ahead. Would he still be off limits? If she give you the okay. But how many of us would really give the okay? Be honest. Be honest with yourself. But be honest with me. How many of you would give the okay to your friend? Girl, I'm done. I ain't want nothing else to do with him. You can have him. Would you really believe that? I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. But in my mind, I think it will always be a problem. That's what I think. If you were to date someone or end up marrying someone that was married, not just dating now, this was a marriage. If he was married to your friend and you all of a sudden marry him, I'm sorry. That's going to be an awkward situation. It's going to be awkward. Real awkward. In my opinion. But love. Love is strange. It's hard. Heart love. Heart love. But I still say. Still got to have some boundaries. In my opinion. That's what I think. Y'all, I almost had to put closed caption up there, talking to y'all. I was trying to eat and get my little subjects out. Y'all see, I bought my own drink. Wasn't about to buy a drink when I got drinks in my office. Not. Mm. Mm -mm. But y'all... I hope y'all will share in this conversation. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you get notifications every time that I post. Please also share, share, share with everyone so my channel can grow and go over to Tyra's Big World of Flavor. Do the same for her. And why, why, why not? Guard your heart because those that you love can also make you hurt someone else. Why, why, why not?